What's up my beautiful people? It's Courtney and today we're back with another pin or bin. If you're new to my channel, I test out DIYs from all over the internet and just see which ones are good and which ones just aren't worth your time or money to buy the supplies for. So today we're testing out slime bubbles. And no, slime's not disappearing that easily. Like there's at least this one more video that I'm gonna do with some slime. I originally found tons of recipes for this on Pinterest, but the one I'm using is from toodaloo.com and I figured it's a mom's blog. It's gotta work, right? If you're interested interested in checking it out, I'm going to leave that blog post in the description box like always. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'm trying out these new pen or Ben. It's a new series on my channel and I also test out tons of other stuff. So I really hope you subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you're new and let's go ahead and get started. If you've been on my channel for a while, you are no strangers to slime recipes. So we're going to go ahead and take a bottle of glue. This one had a weird cap on it and ended up exploding everywhere. I might add that it looks kind of disgusting, but you want to take one bottle of glue and go ahead and pour it into a bowl. And now is where you get to customize your very own slime. I'm adding in some neon purple food coloring. You could add in whatever color you want. You could add in some fine glitter if you would like, but you could just mix all kinds of colors, do your own thing, whatever color you're feeling, go for it. We're just gonna mix it all together with a popsicle stick and you have your excuse to eating an unhealthy snack for today. You're welcome. Now we're gonna set that aside and get a cup of hot water and go ahead and add in one to two tablespoons of borax into it. All right, let's be real. I don't really measure it, so I just pour some in there. Usually when I'm making slime, I do prefer liquid starch, but for something like this, we're going for a different texture. So the borax works better. Normally it's a little more finicky than liquid starch, but for this, it'll work just fine. And I had plenty of it, so I went ahead and used that. So according to the recipe, we're looking for a more of a gak, gawk, gak, gawk. I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna go with gak, but basically this is not as stretchy as slime. Sometimes if you're making slime and it goes a little bit over, like this is what gak is. It's not gonna be super stretchy, it's gonna have some stretch to it, but it is gonna break a lot easier than regular slime. Now I'm just gonna mix my mixture together and once it starts to like form together, I'm just gonna use my hands and just kind of mold it and just play with it a lot. At first, if it looks a little too slimy, like go ahead and add a little more borax into it and it's going to help like firmen it up some. At this point, I think we're headed in the right direction. It's stretchy some, but I could also break it pretty easily depending on how I pull it. So mom instructions, on point so far. Now I think a hard plastic straw is gonna work a lot better than this than like a disposable straw, but ugh, just like the thought of like reusable straws really just gross me out. I'm just gonna mold the slime around the straw and then you're just gonna blow. This is so cool, oh my gosh. and it freaking works. Easiest DIY ever. I was like amazed by this. Cool is you could use a little bit of your slime and make little bubbles. You could use the whole thing and make a giant bubble. It works better if you kind of keep your hand around the straw where the base is just to kind of make sure no air holes come through there. It does pop occasionally, but for the most part works so well. All right, so I'm giving this DIY a huge, huge pen. This was such a good success. I love this, so much fun, and now you finally have a use for all your old slime. Because me, I have slime laying around everywhere. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the comments down below, please let me know what DIY you wanna see me test out next. Go search on Pinterest, find something cool, and if I use your DIY, I'll feature you in the video. And if you missed my last couple of videos, all you have to do is click on over to the side of me, and I will see you guys next time for a brand new video. Bye.